little mini rug. It's so nice. I can't imagine a rug of this. I just got a punch needle, so we're gonna be doing some punch needling today. My end goal is to make this song poster for TXT's Farewell Neverland or whatever it's called. Listen to it a million times, don't even know the title of it. But since I want my skills to be super good before I do that, I'm gonna practice. And I thought a nice simple way to practice would be to do a couple of BT21 characters, because that's gonna be cute. Let's get punching. So I have a punch needle, I have my embroidery hoop that I tightened like crazy, so hopefully it'll work. And then I have my fabric pen, which I am going to draw my pattern before we start dabbing this thing. I'm super pumped. I think I'm gonna start with Mang. Is it Mong? It's Mong, isn't it? I meant to look it up before filming this because I'm pretty sure I've been saying it wrong, but I was too lazy. We've got blue, we've got pink, we've got white. We've got purple, and we've got black, and this is way more colors than I thought I would need. Maybe I should have started with another character. I like Mod's colors most though, so we'll do that. Just gonna sneak in here and tell you more about the supplies that I used. So I got a punch needling set. The one that they did have for just like one punch needle would have took like a month to get in, so I just went with this one. It was about $15. This is all gonna be in Canadian dollars because I'm Canadian. If you're American, you do the conversion for once. So the kit came with two needles. This one is plastic and adjustable. This one is wooden and not adjustable. Adjusting the length just changes the length of the loops. Makes sense. They do feel pretty cheap, though I do think like this would be fine for the occasional stabby stab. I do have a lot of projects in mind, but I feel like it'll definitely last. It also came with, I'm assuming this is a fabric pen, not necessary at all. You're not gonna see the marks you make anyway. Use whatever you have. It also came with two threaders, which are essential. I don't know how you'd thread these without it, so don't lose them. It came with two. I don't know where the other one is. Ah! <laughs> it came with some monk's cloth. The reviews said that it is not good monk's cloth, but I'll try it out for you. Ah, stop falling. Gosh dang it. Why does this only happen when I'm filming? This literally never happens. It also came with some darning needles. Those like little needle threaders for these. Also can't find those. After doing this punch needle, now I know how to use the needle threaders. And I'm like, all these years of going like... It's fine. So that's all that was in the kit. That was 15 Canadian dollars. Long live the queen. She's dead. <laughs> That's not funny. It's fun. Next is my monk's cloth that I used. It was about $29. It's a little steep, but um, look how much it comes with. It's missing a big chunk because the, uh, Neverland wall hanging. This is gonna do so many projects, especially, especially, especially if you only like to do like little ones. It's gonna last you years. Don't look. Now I have to fold it again. I don't have anything to compare it to yet because I'm going to show you if this is worth it so you don't have to buy this if you're just gonna do a little project and see if you want to know how it works and if you're gonna continue to do it whether it's or not it's worth buying this. I forgot what I was saying. Good. That's all I had to purchase for this project which means I spent <laughs> 29 plus 15 so that's 39. 44. I spent 44 dollars. It'll be worth it. And the amount of happiness that looking at these projects on my wall, on my floor, on my bed, that's priceless. But I do need to stop spending so much money. Next thing you're gonna need is an embroidery hoop. Where'd I put the one that I use? I was like, I'm so organized. Found it. I have tons of these because I started embroidery last year, so I already spent all the money last year. The only thing you need to make sure of for the embroidery hoops is that it has a little screwdriver hole, a little screw head. But it has one of these. Doesn't matter what shape it is, as long as you have a screwdriver to go with it. I'm linking everything below. I got this off of Amazon. It's a set of six. 
for $19. You obviously don't need to use a hoop. This is probably the cheapest option though. I bought a canvas, took off the canvas, replaced it with the monk's cloth. This was very difficult. It didn't need to be as difficult as I made it. If you want to learn from my mistakes, then stay tuned. Oh, hello. Lighting change. Stay tuned for my next projects. Subscribe. It needs to be perfect. Just kidding. My body's perfect. I gotta work it. Hello. 17. Ha. If you're using an embroidery hoop to get it that nice, nice tightness, you need a screwdriver. I have no idea how much uh, screwdrivers cost and or awesome commented on my TikTok. This is why it's not a great idea to film on my iPad. But I am poor, she says as filming on her iPad Pro. So out of touch. I keep getting distracted. I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I feel like I'm just, I, I'm hungry. I'm sure at least one of your parents owns a screwdriver. If you've moved out, you should have a screwdriver. Screwdrivers are essential. It's a well worth investment. You probably have one. If you don't, what are you doing with your life? I'm sorry, I'm kidding. That was your opportunity. Next is the yarn. I have tons of yarn. I have tons of yarn on my floor. I have yarn everywhere. These you can get for like $5. This is, they're both acrylic yarn, but this is more like premium acrylic. This is just cheap yarn. It's not super rough, but like you can tell a bit of a difference. So if you want your rug to be like, ooh, that may be splurge. This comes in a huge ball. It was like bigger than this and that's $15. There's no point in ugly projects being soft. So for your first few ones, why don't you just get the cheap stuff? There, I made your decision for you. You're welcome. I didn't forget to show you how good of quality this is. I'm gonna show you later. So stick around, don't go anywhere. This is also a good time to show you how exactly to do it. So you want to pull your needle out, drag it along in the direction that you're going, and then punch through. How often you punch through is completely up to you. I wanted to write high, but um, cool. This cloth, I much, much prefer to my other cloth. The other cloth felt really hard to stamp through. This was nice. That's like the opposite of what the review said. I'm not even sure how to thread this thing, so I'm just gonna do how I think it should be threaded. That doesn't work, I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial. Finding gadget. This is just to keep me entertained while I'm filming. <laughs> I'm assuming we stick this in. Or no, which way would it go? Because you need the Okay, okay, so I'm gonna insert it like this, put the, the yarn in like this, and then we're gonna pull it through like this. Am I super smart? Yeah, because it has to sit like this, right? <laughs> Didn't even have to look up a tutorial. So it did not show that very well, but basically we take this needle threader, we stick it through this top hole here, then it comes out this side. You stick your yarn through here, nice. Then you just pull this end so that it pulls through all the way. Beautiful. <clears throat> you also need it to go through this hole. <clears throat> You need it to go through this hole. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll just do the same thing. Stick this through and then stick our yarn through here. Then we pull and voila, you are amazing. And now I gotta trace my pattern, which is actually gonna be super easy because I'm not good at drawing. I thought I was gonna have to draw it, but no, I just put it over my iPad, use my iPad as a light box and then I draw it or trace it. So I'm, it's, it's great. So I didn't film me tracing Mong Meng, um, hello, but I was gonna use this for a TikTok. So basically I just put it over my iPad, turn the brightness up, but if you don't have a tablet or anything, you can definitely just print out an image and then like stick it onto the window with tape or something and do it that way. Just make sure that if the image has to be a certain way or if you have text to flip it because the image is going to be flipped on the other side, on the flippy side. Okay, this is so cute, and I don't know if I deserve to feel proud because I literally just traced it, but it's so cute. So I'm excited now. Let's get punching. Watch a bunch of people learning how to do this, and they all kind of sucked at the beginning, so I'm gonna give myself a little leeway. And everyone seemed to have learned from one creator. His channel is called Curry Goat, so if you're wanting to start, I would recommend watching his video. I don't think this will be very... Don't try to learn from me. Or, you know, you could. I actually like watching people who are just learning things so that when they make mistakes I can be like file that away don't make that mistake unfortunately all the people who I watched didn't really make any mistakes so good for them 
Let's do this. Tips are keeping your yarn super, like no tension at all. So make sure you got a lot. Anyway, <laughs> okay, we're gonna start here. Here's our first bunch, step tip. Then we're gonna pull this through. So it's just hanging on the other end. I'm so excited, but I'm scared too. Cause if this doesn't work, you pull it out, but really just drag it. Cause we don't want to actually pull it and then punch it again. And here is where I struggled for a good five minutes. Can you see what I'm doing wrong? Can you? Yeah. I actually blame my tools, um, so I switched needles, but no, nope, that was that was me. That was all me. But I uh, was not discouraged. Ah, baby. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe maybe a little bit, a little bit discouraged. Can I be why i figured out what i was doing wrong it's a ttt version and it turns out there's a hole here for a reason so it goes through the hole so that i can do it the way i was doing it the first time and not stab through my yarn <sighs> so thread it through oh and i decided i'm not gonna outline in black because i think it won't look very nice once more let's begin <gasps> Look at me go! And I'm only gonna get better. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself at least 20 times during- Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Excuse me, sorry. You see that? Look at me go. And this side? That looks okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Beautiful. It's gonna be a very shaggy one. Maybe I should have done it shorter. I'm gonna do it short- Ah, it's just like magic! Okay, I'm gonna do it shorter. I'm gonna see this live! <laughs> Oh my stab wounds. Hopefully this is okay and I can go through this again. But um, I'm gonna do it shorter and I'm going to do a... I keep wanting to say live stream. That is not... Time lapse. I'm gonna do a time lapse for you guys. Before I go, I feel like this is gonna be satisfying. <laughs> nice. Okay. So my time lapse really sucked um, because I didn't take... Like I didn't bother to like film it properly. So... Sorry. And then my mom FaceTimed me, so I switched to my phone, which, um, because I was on my iPad. And it, the, the exposure, wow, wow. Don't look at them. I finished it. Big reveal time. Oh, it's sneak peek. Oh. Well, bam. Oh, sorry, wrong way. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so this is the fuzziness. We're gonna have to turn this down. I'm gonna get copyright. Oh, wrong button. Okay, well, we're okay. Wow. There were some mistakes. Maybe I can just oh no. Now I made it worse. Ah ha ha ha. Now we need to take it out and do some other stuff. So let's do that now. This out. You can admire it while I do so. Um, it looks amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but was to glue this down like this so i got my glue gun use some purple glue for you armies out there while the glue was heating i did a 10 second tidy um because my husband came back early from his business trip because it sounds like it sounds like the video if you don't know what i'm talking about it's fine i, I think it's funny um anyway that was satisfying then I glued all of these edges down. Um, you'll see why that's not a good thing to do in a second. So I chose purple thread yarn. Sorry, right? Because I got you, army. This is why it was a bad idea to do the glue. It was so hard to get through certain points, parts. Anyway, here's another horrible uh, time lapse. Can't even see what I'm doing, but I'm whip stitching around the edge. Watching this actually hurts my eyes. You know what? Just close your eyes. Use this time to rest from all the screen time. Ugh, that took forever, and I'm in so much pain, and I didn't even do it right. So glue wasn't a great idea because, first of all, this looks like a booger. That's glue. Because I glued this, and then obviously it was really hard, and then I tried to stick a needle through it, and it just didn't work. The parts that worked worked. There's places that I just skipped entirely because it was very hard because that's where I used a lot of glue. It's fine, you don't really see it anyway. It's very messy, but it's cute. Little mini rug. I don't know what I'll do with it. 
because like it's borderline too ugly to actually use but also it's so cute you can make a little pillow i don't know this is just so cute and i feel like i learned a lot also take breaks if you make something it's so messy if you're gonna make something take breaks that's my main advice i'm in so much pain and i'm exhausted yeah this took like at least half of my morning i would say i'm happy and i'm super 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 excited <laughs> one of the vacuum now to make my txt wall hanging because this is a big empty wall so much possibility i might look into better ways of finishing projects because this does not look good i also don't really want to cover this so if i could just make this look nicer my hand is on fire look it's red from pushing the needle against it to try to shove it in it hurts but yeah this is my first project and it's so nice i can't imagine a rug of this mang rug mom mang i need to look that up but yeah if you want to see how my next project turns out maybe subscribe this one Loop! Can I just cut it? Problem solved. I also just want to point out that like a lot of people glue their work, like the back of it. And people use school glue, like Elmer's glue, fabric glue. But Denzel, the person who everyone watches to learn how to punch needle, said that it's not necessary. So I'm like, why do an extra step? But if you're worried about it coming out, then I will, for you, because I'm so nice, risk ruining my project to show you how necessary it might be to glue it. I'm going to try to pull one of these out and see how much force you need. Okay, dude, that's stuck in there. Like, I wasn't exaggerating. Like, I was pulling. Like, my fingers hurt now. And I did barely anything. Wow. So unless you're gonna be sitting on your rug, pulling the loops through, you don't need to glue it. You're welcome. It is new. But again, it's up to you. Rhymed. So it must be true. Also rhymed. Anyway, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep now. So I'm gonna go. And I need to vacuum because this is everywhere. It's been a good, good time.